Hey, Junior, Mark, we got some for your motherfucking ass. Hey, yo, let's talk about WWE Survivor Series. Right? So, Survivor Series happened yesterday night. And I'm just going to get cut through the BS and get straight to the main matches. The first match that I enjoyed was Shinsuke Nakamura against Seth Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins, in my opinion, is one of my best wrestlers. I think he's, he's never had a dull match. And I personally think he's the best wrestler on the planet. This match I really enjoyed. It was really tough, back and forth. There were some near falls. And at the end, the finish, the counters, and then finally, Seth Rollins nailed the curb stomp. So that was a great match. The second match that I really, really enjoyed was, I think, the match of the night. I was surprised that this match was taking place in Survivor Series. I thought it'd be a WrestleMania match. That was Ronda Rousey against Charlotte Flair. And the match started off slow, then it built up. It got better and better. And then, and in the end, it was a no disqualification. Uh, no, sorry. In the end, it was um, a disqualification win for Rousey. But that brutal attack, man. And the fans cheering the bad guy or the bad girl and kind of turning on um, Rousey was uh, pretty interesting. But that match really, really was uh, the match that Survivor Series will be remembered for, in my opinion. And obviously the World uh, Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar and Daniel Bryan. Now, it reminded me of last year's Survivor Series main event where, where AJ Styles went up against Brock Lesnar, where Lesnar's pretty much dominating the guy. It is a quick comeback and then Lesnar wins. Uh, I honestly thought Brian should have won the match because who cares about Brock Lesnar now at this moment? I mean, I think WWE needs a bit of a shock. You need a bit of a shocking win, but it is what it is. Again, it was Brock Lesnar just, just destroying Daniel Bryan. And then Daniel Bryan pretty much coming back. He had like a short, um, Offense, he got a few moves in there. He got the low, low blow with the with his finisher and almost got the win. And um, he also got the yes lock on him before Brock Lesnar countered and same old same. So yeah, these three were the highlight moments. I also like the Survivor Series uh, Raw vs SmackDown uh, match. I thought WWE needs to give SmackDown a bit of recognition, man, because SmackDown has been getting the SmackDown laid upon them for the past two years, probably more from my memory. And this time they were dominated. Um, Drew McIntyre looks like a, looks like the next big thing. Braun Strowman being Braun Strowman. I mean, that guy needs the world title, man. And um, Shane McMahon was pretty entertaining. So it was an entertaining uh, match. So yeah, these four I think were the, the matches that I personally would recommend, especially Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey. UFC, Nick Diaz returns at UFC 235 and he's going to fight George Masvidal. Nate's been out of the game for about four years, probably more, around that time. So it's going to be interesting to see that fight because um, Masvidal, he's been in the game. He's come up a long way, man. The guy was a street fighter like Kimbo Slice, worked his way and now he's like, you know, top five in the world. So that's really, really interesting to uh, to hear about and I'm really looking forward to that. Errol Spence and Terence Crawford came face to face and this was like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone back in the 90s coming face to face. It's like Bill Goldberg and Stone Cold Steve Austin coming face to face. Point being, it's like Ronaldo and Messi type thing, all right? If there's a fight, in boxing to determine who's the best pound for pound fighter is these two Spence and Crawford do I think it'll happen this year no do I think it'll happen sorry uh, next year no I think this is a 2020 fight and I think it'll be the biggest fight in the welterweight division anyway guys anyway guys what did you think of the survivor series what do you think about Nick Diaz coming back make sure to subscribe to like to share Remember, hustle hard, keep it real. G's up, suckers down.